Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be looking at the AQA GCSE Maths Higher Paper 1, which is a non-calculated paper from June 2018. We are looking at question number 18, which is worth 5 marks. Here is a tunnel for a toy train. The diagram shows the cross-section of the tunnel. So AD is a semicircular arc with a radius of 10, okay? BC is an arc with a radius of 7. And the length of the tunnel is 30, so that there is 30 centimeters. Work out the total area of all six faces of the tunnel. Okay, so we've got six faces. We've got this face. So this face is number one, and there's one in the back. So this will be face one and two. Uh, face three could be this one. Face four could be the one on the inside. And then face five would be the one that's there. And face number six would be the one that's there. Okay, so let's start off by working out the area of this face here, which is face number one and face number two. So this is made up of a large semicircle with a smaller semicircle cut out of it. So the area of the large semicircle, so that's pi times radius squared. Now the radius here is 10 for the large one, pi r squared. And then because it's a semicircle, we will divide that by 2. Now it says give your answer in terms of pi, so we don't need to use a calculator here. So 10 squared is 100, so that's 100 times pi divided by 2, which is 50 pi. So that's the area of the large semicircle. Now we need to work out the area of the small semicircle. That's going to be pi times the radius. Now the radius this time is 7. So pi times 7 squared divided by 2. So 7 squared is 49. So 49 pi divided by 2 is 24.5 pi. Okay, so now we can subtract these two and that will give us the area of this face, which is going to be called the cross section. So the area of cross section is 50 pi minus 24.5 pi, which is 25.5 pi. Okay, now there happens to be two faces which are identical to this. So area of both um, cross sections, let's call them, equals 25.5 pi times 2, which is 51 pi. Okay, so that's these two faces, so the one here and the one in the back. So we've got 51 pi to start off with. Next, let's look at this area here. So this is actually going to be a rectangle with a curved surface. So this curved surface here is the length that we need to work out. And we know that this is 30. This is basically the arc of this semicircle. So what we're going to do is we're going to work out the circumference of the circle and then divide that by 2. So the curved surface AD or curved curved length AD is equal to the pi times the diameter so the diameter is not 10, the diameter is from here to here, which is 20. And then we're only interested in half of it, so we'll divide that by 2. So that's 10 pi. So that's the curved length. So from here all the way to here is 10 pi. So the curved area, let's call it the large curved area, which is in the shape of a rectangle, is 10 pi multiplied by the length, which is 30. So that's 300 pi. So we need this at the end. So that's area 3 done. Now let's look at area, surface area of number 4, which is going to be curve. We need to work out curve length um, B to C now. 
So that's pi times the diameter. So the diameter of B to C is 14 divided by 2, which is 7 pi. So then we've got, we can work out the small curved area, which is 7 pi times 30, which gives us 210 pi. So now we've got surfaces 1, 2, 3, and 4 done. Now we've got surface 5 and 6. So they're going to be identical. So they're going to be rectangles. So a rectangle on bottom uh, times 2. So that's going to be a rectangle which is 30. That's the length multiplied by this distance here, which is 3. And there's two of them, so we'll times it by two. So that is going to be 180. And then the total area is the sum of the things that I put in boxes. So that's 51 pi plus 300 pi plus 210 pi plus 180. And that's going to equal, so that's 310, that's 510, and that is 561 pi plus 180. That's your final answer in terms of pi.